Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna actually make a pretty short video talking about OBS. So if you already read the title, then you're having the same problem that I had when I first got it and it's having this yellow outline at the corners of the screen. So if you're like me, you probably got annoyed by having this on your screen when you were playing a game. For example, uh, let's say you're trying to play a game in full screen, you'll still see the outline in the edges of your screen and sometimes it can be annoying. For most, for most people, they just don't want to have it there, right? So, if you want to take it off, all you have to do is go to your display capture, which is probably what you're using if you have this yellow outline, and right click on it. You'll go to properties, and then from here, there's going to be something that says capture method. You want to click on this, and if it's on automatic, it's probably using Windows, which is why this yellow outline is showing up on the screen. It's pretty much Windows letting you know that your screen is being recorded. You want to switch this to desktop duplication. After you switch it to DXGI desktop duplication and press OK, the yellow outline should go away unless your screen went black, which means that you're probably new to OBS and you haven't done this yet. So all you have to do when this happens is lower this down a little bit, go to your desktop, right click, and there's going to be something that says display settings. You want to click on this. From here, you want to go to the bottom and you go to where it says graphics. If you have an older version of your settings, then it might say advanced graphics. So either way, click on that, and then eventually you're going to end up in a page something like this. From here, you want to make sure that you add OBS onto this list of apps if you don't have it already. So if you don't have OBS on this list, then the easiest way to do this is to browse through your desktop. And for me, it's in Windows C Drive in Program Files. So if you guys don't know where your OBS is, which you should, all you have to do is go to this PC, Windows C Drive, go to program files and then you should find something that says OBS studio you click on this click on bin 64 bit and then you go to OBS 64 the application with the little OBS logo you click on this and then you add it and once you do that OBS should be added right here to your list from here you want to go to the options and when you click on this it's probably gonna be on let windows decide as default you want to switch this to power saving after you do that, you press save, you exit out of this, and then you're going to have to make sure that you restart OBS. So all you have to do is exit out of it, restart OBS, and then there you go. After you start it back up, the screen should be working now if you have the same display and you didn't remove it. And then you can try and go back to your game and you'll notice that it's not there anymore and you should be able to record perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys two different ways of doing this because the first way that I just showed you was me doing this from my laptop. So any of you guys that have laptops and you follow up the steps, it should be working fine for you. But if you have a PC and you're using your own monitor, you might be experiencing another issue. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it when you're using a monitor. Okay, so now let's say you have a PC and you have your own monitor. Basically, if you follow the steps and you have a black screen, what you want to go ahead and do is go back to your display settings and once you're there, instead of having OBS on power saving, go to the options and then switch it to high performance instead. Once you do that, once again, close OBS, then restart OBS, and there you go. It should be working for you now. Now, if you're using a PC and have your own monitor and you're not getting the yellow outline, then you don't have to worry about this. But if you do have the yellow outline, just make sure that you go to properties and keep this at desktop duplication. If any of you ever get a black screen when you're using either desktop duplication or Windows 10, make sure that you go to your graphic settings, go to OBS, and then go to the options. Depending on which one you're using, it might not work. So if you're already on high performance and you still have a black screen, switch it to power saving mode. If you're already in power saving mode and you still have a black screen, make sure you switch it to high performance. And whenever you do that, it should fix the problem. Just make sure that you restart OBS after you switch the setting. And then once you're done with that, all you have to do is start recording, go to whatever game it is you want to play, and you should be able to go to full screen without having the yellow outline. And that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one.